There's a drive to right field. Going back is Shavera at the wall. Later, ball. Two run Jack, and the Sea Lions are up two to nothing. It's been a while since we've seen Rashad go yard. The 1 0. And this is going to be shot over towards the gap. Kurt Steinhauer trying to track it down, and he dies and makes an unbelievable catch. My goodness, that just saved a run in even more. Steinhauer full out layout. The first pitch, bases loaded. Fans starting to get into it. Dustin Jones in the windup. Looks in, taking his time. Now the kick and the pitch. And that hits Miles. Give the Sea Lions a lead on a hit by pitch by Mike Miles doing what he does best. Karch looking to put the Sea Lions on top for the first time today in either game. Line drive left field. If it stays fair, we've got a lead. And it stays fair. Double by West Karch. The Sea Lions now up by two. 3 1. High drive, right field. See a ball. Three run jack. For Jeff Fox and the Sea Lions now have a 9 to 4 lead. The Sea Lions are riding a five game win streak and they welcome in the struggling Concordia Eagles. Steve Winnick will start game one of the doubleheader on a windy day at Carroll B. Land Stadium. Max, I know you don't like me highlighting some of Point Loma's streaks and fear that they might possibly be broken. Max is a little bit superstitious. Going back to the last game of the season against Cal Baptist, Point Loma has not allowed a run in 21 innings now. Well, for those of you listening at home, if there was a run allowed in this game, Kyle Stanley will be directly to be blamed. How about how about not this game, this inning? This inning. This if, inning. Yeah, I, I agree with that. If, Once the inning's over, if the, you make it out of the inning, yeah, the, the superstition kind of wears off. Exactly. And you have to mention it again. <laughs> Even though Steve Winnick is on the mound today, been a successful pitcher, you just have one of those feelings with a very hot-hitting team in the Cougars. It might be one of those 13-12 to 12 affairs. Taylor has himself his second home run of the day, and he is all of the offense for the Sea Lions so far. Full count, bases loaded, one out, Sea Lions down by three, Alex Cameron at the plate. Today, he is one for two. Ground ball, and it finds the hole. That's an RBI single into left field. Rolled over the top of by Alex Cameron, and it makes it a 5-3 to three game. The Sea Lions now have the tying run on second base. With two outs, the base is loaded, and the pitch. There's a drive to right field going back. Poteet, the wind playing tricks, and he drops it. You saw it coming. Poteet unable to get to it, but we have ourselves a tie game. It's 9 to nothing. Going to the top of the ninth, we will see if Brandon Dixon can finish what he started.